also following breaking news out of Japan, where transport officials confirm a packed passenger plane with hundreds of people on board and a Japanese Coast Guard aircraft collided earlier today. The planes then burst into flames with five people on the smaller plane killed. CBS News' John Diaz is in the newsroom with the latest. John? Yeah, we'll send any passengers on board saying that this was complete chaos. Many say they thought they were going to die. But the transport minister of Japan is now praising the plane company and crew members on board this commercial passenger plane for, quote, taking appropriate procedures to safely evacuate all passengers. Now, you can see in this stunning video here, the moments after this crash happened, hard to believe that all 379 people on board were able to get out of harm's way before flames completely engulfed that plane. Now, officials say the plane, Japan Airlines Flight JAL 516, is among the industry's newest large passenger planes. Authorities abroad confirming the packed plane collided with a Japanese Coast Guard aircraft on the runway of Tokyo's Haneda Airport on Tuesday. The pilot of the Coast Guard plane escaped, but the five crew members died, according to authorities. Coast Guard officials say their plane was preparing to take off as part of a relief mission on its way to Nigita to deliver supplies to residents affected by a deadly earthquake in the region on Monday. Now, passengers on the commercial plane told reporters after the collision, the cabin attendants were calm and told everyone to leave their baggages behind. They say the cabin filled with smoke really within minutes, and they had to drop to the floor and escape through emergency doors. Take a listen to what a witness had to say. We heard that big bang, and I turned, and I saw that flame that was making a trace, and then we saw the flame that was in flame. By that time, with the two planes going like that, I could see the plane, and then a few minutes later, we saw two big firefighter trucks coming and fighting the fight, the fire. Now, other video shows the moments the commercial plane landed on the runway. The transport minister of Japan says that's when the collision happened. And the vice commander of the Coast Guard said the pilot reported to his base that his aircraft exploded. Now, transport officials say that the airport's three other runways have now reopened while the investigation does continue. Now, they're focusing much of their attention right now on communication between aviation control officers and the two aircrafts. Sydney. John Diaz, live from the newsroom. John, thank you.